So this is just a quick walkthrough on how to set up the Quizlet app in Canvas and how it works. So you want to be in your course. Uh, for this example, I'm in a course called Sandbox. I'm going to go down to the left and click on my course settings. And then from there, I want to click on the apps tab. To make this quick, I'm just going to search for Quizlet. As soon as I start typing, it comes up, so I'm going to click on Quizlet. And then simply click on Add Tool. Okay, and notice it's been added, and it's an editor button, which means it's going to be in the rich text editor of Canvas. So anywhere you see the rich text editor of Canvas, you'll have access to uh, this quiz. Quizlet tool. So now I'm going to build something within where I'm going to use the Quizlet tool. So I'm going to choose to make an assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and add an assignment. I'll call it Quizlet example Spanish. And give it 10 points. And go to more options so that I can get the rich text editor. Okay, so now I've got my rich text editor here. And I want to click on Quizlet flashcards. And I'm just going to do a search for Spanish and see what comes up. Okay, this looks like fun Spanish animals. And now here is where you actually have a problem. Notice you cannot see uh, what is being selected right here. And even if you select different options, you cannot see them. So what is happening is uh, you're inside a secure environment, which is Canvas, and then this pop-up window right here, or this light box, is a non-secure page. So if you notice up here at the top in the URL bar, there's a shield. If you're using Firefox, the shield is over here on the left side. But if I click on the shield and then I say load unsafe script, now I should be able to click on that Quizlet and see things. Keeping my fingers crossed here. There we go. So now I got my animals and it's coming up. Uh, so you can choose how you want to add this as a flashcard, as a learn, or as a scatter game. Uh, I'm just going to do the simple flashcard for this. I'm going to um, hit add Quizlet. And uh, there's a placeholder for it. I'm going to hit update assignment. And there we go. Uh, it's been added to my course. Now, let's take a look at this from the student perspective. I'm going to switch screens over here to a sample student that's logged in the course. They'll go to their assignments, and then we'll click on Quizlet example. And notice the same problem is happening on the student end. You don't see anything there. So you have to go up to the shield, click load on save script, and then it comes up. Uh, but you can go ahead and look at it there. And then there's options right here where you could turn the audio on or off. Caballo. Cabra. So this looks awesome. I can see how this would be a great tool for learning. Let me go back to the teacher side and show you what you can do to avoid having to click on the shield. And you can resolve this whole shield issue very easily. So I'm going to go back to the teacher window. And if I edit this, 
what you can do is go over here to the HTML editor. You click HTML editor right here. See how the source is HTTP? Well, if you simply put an S after that and then hit update, this will come up and you won't need the shield anymore. You won't need to enable the shield on the um, student side or the instructor side um, once you have it embedded like this. The other thing that you can do is you can actually um, go to the Quizlet website and for any of these tools, so if I, if I wanted this one, uh, if you go over here, right here, you can go to embed and you can copy the embed code for um, any of this right here. And notice the embed code is HTTPS. So let's say I wanted to do the space race. So I highlight that, I copy it, and then I'm going to go back over here to Canvas. I'll edit this. And then uh, I'll just delete this one. And I'm going to go to the HTML editor. And then you just paste this code in the HTML editor. If you want to make this uh, wider or anything like that, you can do that as well and experiment with that. This one's a hundred percent, so it's kind of nice. It fills it up. Um, then you can switch over, or you can just hit update, and, and then it's in here. And then, if you were to go on the student side and uh, you refresh this, um, it would show up without having to click the shield on it. Now, I've already clicked the shield once, but uh, I've already tried this with with a brand new login, and it does work without having to have the shield. So uh, that's how you can um, use Quizlet inside of Canvas. A lot of great potential uses, so if you use it, um, let me know about it. I'd like to see what you do with it.